Hi, welcome to Thoughts on These Things with Oluwa Gumiga Oyene. So much is happening in the entertainment industry, and I know that there are the good sides and there are the bad sides, but a lot is happening that deserves positive mention. And one of them is this latest announcement by Daddy Yankee. Let me read you what he says here. He says, Daddy Yankee says goodbye to reggaeton to devote his life to his Christian faith. Now, I've observed the shift especially in the music and entertainment industry where people who are very famous will make a dramatic U-turn from their previous lifestyle and turn fully to their faith. And Daddy Yankee is very influential in the Hispanic community. He's a singer, he's a rapper, a songwriter, and an actor. And at the end of his latest tour, he made a shocking announcement to an arena filled with over 18,000 people with millions of people watching over a live stream. But before we go into that, if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, kindly hit the subscribe button to join this community where we share faith-based content. All right, let me play you the clip from the concert and then we'll take it from there. I apologize if you don't speak Spanish, but you can follow the captions and you will get the gist of it. Mi gente, este venga para mí es el más importante de mi vida. Y se los quiero compartir porque no es lo mismo vivir una vida de éxito que una vida con propósito. Por mucho tiempo yo intenté llenar un vacío en mi vida que nadie pudo llenar. Trataba de rellenar y buscar un sentido a mi vida. En ocasiones aparentaba estar bien feliz, pero faltaba algo para hacerme completo. Y les tengo que confesar que ya esas días terminaron. Alguien pudo llenar ese vacío que sentía por mucho tiempo. Me pude dar cuenta que para todos era alguien, pero yo no era nada sin él. Pude recorrer el mundo durante años, ganar muchos premios, aplausos y elogios, pero me di cuenta de algo que dice la Biblia. ¿De qué le vale al hombre ganar el mundo entero si pierde su alma? Por eso esta noche reconozco y no me hago hueso en decirle al mundo entero que Jesús vive en mí. y que yo viviré para él. La Biblia dice, todo aquel que lo reconozca en público aquí en la tierra, también lo reconocerá delante de mi Padre. There's just so much to talk about from this. Uh, starting with, I don't know if you caught that part where you say living a successful life is not the same thing as living a life of purpose. I could wish millions of people will just pay attention to that statement that statement is so powerful because in our world today there are a lot of people who confuse living successful life to mean they are living a purposeful life they are not the same thing you can attain worldly success you can attain worldly standard of success and still you are not living your purpose on earth many people have lived successful life and if you get personal encounter with them one of the things they tell you they regret is they did not go after their purpose they were busy pursuing success from the worldly standard that they failed to achieve their own core purpose in life so that's a very very important thing to say especially sharing that with his audience and millions of people who are still going to watch that it's not just about the fame it's not just about the concert and the popularity it's about doing what god has called you to do also he mentioned that there was a void in his life that he couldn't feel for a long time until he found somebody who is jesus who filled that void so many people have this void and in their attempts they try to you know fill this void with alcohol with women with worldly standard of success that void is there so that we can seek god and find him but a lot of people have tried to fill that void with so many negative things and at the end they end up in regrets the story of that yankee reminds me of a parable that jesus shared in the book of luke chapter 12. there was this man who went to jesus and he was asking jesus to tell his brother to divide their inheritance with him and jesus said who made me a judge over you and then jesus told his disciples he says see beware of covetousness then he shared a parable he said the ground of a rich man i'm paraphrasing now it says the ground of a rich man 
yielded plentifully and he taught to himself, what am I going to do with all these things? Then he said, I'm going to tear down my bands and then I'll build a bigger one. Then I'll say to my soul, my soul, rest. Enjoy all that you have labored for. After he had done that, God said to him, fool, this night your soul will be demanded of you. And then Jesus asked the question, whose will all those things he has acquired be? You see, there's so much about the story that ties to how we live our life in the modern world that we just think about acquisition, fame, you know, success. But we are not thinking about living for eternity and that we are not thinking about the, our soul. The salvation of our soul or the security of our soul is the most important thing. All material acquisitions will not profit you if at the end of it all you lose your soul. So this is just a lesson in getting your priorities right, in knowing how to pursue your priorities. Are you chasing after fame and success at the expense of your soul? And that was what he was quoting, that what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? He has experienced the whole pleasures of this world. He has seen a whole lot of things. And the conclusion he came to is that all these things pale in comparison to the salvation of my soul. So that's something we should pay attention to. When I saw this news of Daddy Yankee, I just went online to do a little research on him also before I made this video. And I found that there is a long list of reggaeton artists who are publicly coming out to declare their faith to their fans they are publicly embracing their faith i just feel god is doing a lot of work in the entertainment industry i believe there's so many things that god is doing in the entertainment industry and we need to pay attention to these things and whenever we have the opportunity to encourage each other with these stories and i like the way he was directing his followers to jesus christ because he said to them to all those that were following him he told them Follow Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. We can all overemphasize that reality and that truth. It gives me so much joy that he had the courage to redirect his followers to follow Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life. And he said every tool that he has acquired before, he's going to use it to evangelize the gospel. And that's the beauty of it, that once we come to Christ, we evangelize and we let other people come to the knowledge of the truths that we are enjoying. I hope this video has blessed you one way or the other. If it has, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.